What's up, Lions fans? Brendan Devin here with your weekly Lions lead. And let's get right into it, recapping the opening weekend of Lions Athletics. Let's start with women's soccer, uh, who went 0-1-1 on the opening weekend, but the highlight came on Thursday night at Eckerd College, when head coach Jed O'Connor pulled goalkeeper Alyssa Abernott in to convert a corner kick at the 86th minute and went right in to tie the ball game up at one apiece and force overtime. Unfortunately, due to the crazy weather conditions, I don't have a highlight of that for you, but goalkeeper Alyssa Abernott notching the first goal of the season for the women's soccer team. The men's soccer team opened their schedule at home on Friday and Sunday, and it was great having the stands packed with fans for the first time in two years. The Lions on Sunday went the full 110 minutes against number 18 West Florida, ending in a draw 1-1. Joseph Hefele converted a penalty kick in the 57th minute to tie the ball game at one apiece. And congratulations to head volleyball coach Natalia Karizna, who earned her first career win at St. Leo on Saturday in the Fair State Tournament in Michigan, when the Lions swept the Bearcats of McHenry in three straight sets, 25-21, 25-19, and 25-23. Taking a week ahead at the upcoming week of action, the men's soccer team heads out to Alabama to take on Montevallo on Friday, and then West Alabama on Sunday. The women's soccer team has their home opener against West Florida on Friday night, and they face Texas A&M International on Sunday. The volleyball team heads up to Georgia to compete in their Valdosta State Fall Tournament on Friday and Saturday. And the men's and women's cross country teams have their season opener in Gainesville on Saturday to compete in the Mountain Dew Invitational at the University of Florida. So good luck to all the teams competing this week. Stay tuned here at, at St. Leo Lions on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for all new scores and highlights. Have happy Labor Day, everybody, and as always, go Lions.